afternoon, everybody. Um, the conference um, headlines is about green agriculture, green behavior, and um, of course, green behavior um, uh, concerns about development, uh, sustainable development, and one of them is how can we sustain our agriculture. We are concerned about our our our, our agriculture, and one of the components of uh, uh, sustainable agriculture is the biocontrol. How can we um, uh, enter? biological agents for the control of our best and disease uh, for the, um, the disease attacking the crops in Sudan. So uh, this paper is about the efficacy of bioagent by cellulose isolate and trichodermic species in the control of wilt root rot disease in Czech B. Um, we chose to uh, control the disease in Czech B because Czech B are known to be a a profitable crop in Sudan, a cash crop, and also are consumed by human, by animal, and it's known to be high in nutrients, and uh, it sustained the, the, the productive system. The farm support system by uh, improving the soil fertility, have the ability to fix nitrogen in the soil. One of the legumes that fix nitrogen in the soil. But unfortunately, the, pro, um, the, the area of production in the north of Sudan, uh, in, a, in, in a place called um, uh, Hudaybiyah locality, dropped very sharply from, from 20 uh, tons per hectare to 5 tons per hectare. So the problem was that the farmers do not practice crop rotation. If they practice crop rotation, they can um, benefit from the soil fertility that the, the chick bee will uh, give them. And also they insist in using pesticides whenever there's a best or disease attacking their crops. They saw that it's um, more easier for them to eradicate the best, the, the best and disease by the use of pesticides. Additionally, um, the research station in North Sudan released many cultivars which know to be resistant for the disease. But also, unfortunately, all, uh, most of them, uh, the pathogens that cause the disease, break this resistance. All the cultivars that were uh, cultivated now are known to be susceptible to disease. So farmers um, grow other marketable crops rather than check B are more profitable for their use. The pathogens we are going to deal with are Fusion moxosporum of, uh, uh, sorry, Fusion solani, which causes Fusarium root rot, Fusarium oxosporum, causing Fusarium wilt, and uh, Parcolinchus species, which is a nematode. They are three pathogens causing one disease. The farmers, if they want to control this disease, they have to use fungicides and also pesticides. And we know that uh, they are chemicals, and they're so um, not environmentally sound. And it's called complex disease, so it's difficult to eradicate. The object of the study is uh, the biocontrol effect of bacillus isolate and trichodermis species. We're going to use it, the effect of it as single application and as compound application. And we want to know if they are going to improve our growth the plant growth, and also if they're going to reduce the incidence and severity of the disease. Why are we using biocontrol agents? First of all, the biocontrol agents have the ability to compete with the pathogens that causes the disease. They are microorganisms, they too, they are, they are, these are microorganisms and also these are microorganisms. They have the ability to compete. The bioagents are more stronger than the pathogens that causes the disease. They have the ability also to uh, parasitize the microorganisms, um, the pathogens. And they um, induce the plant himself to resist the entrance of these pathogens. It's called systemic induced resistance. The bioagents also have the ability to uh, uh, secrete phytosphormones, um, which also shrinks the a bit of the plant to grow healthy. And they are known to be a plant growth promoters, promote the growth of the plant. Uh, and also, these all the benefits of using bioagents, 
rather than using the best science, the synthetic best science. They have the ability to, to um, uh, excrete antibiotics, toxins, and also lytic enzymes. In this study, we use these bioagents. First of all, Tarkoderma harsianum, Tarkoderma viridi, these two fungi, these are the spots of them. And we use one or uh, two bacillus uh, isolates, which is a bacteria, cross um, rice bacteria. The treatment was as follows single applications of the bioagents plus uh, compound application of these bioagents with two control. One of the control is infected soil obtained from naturally infected area, um, field um, has been uh, proceeding a resistance, breeding resistance for the control of this uh, disease. In addition uh, to a control light soil, we apply 10 milli, um, it's a, a water suspension of these bioagents. Um, in the concentration, for the bacterial concentration, we use 10 to the power 8 uh, coliform units have been counted and then applied. And then for the fungal bioagents, we use 10 to the power 6 million spores per milli uh, applied around the sterilized seeds or sterilized seeds. We want to see the effect with the sterilized seeds because the soil is, is infected. And then we covered with natural infected soil and immediately irrigated so they can felicitate the movement of the bioagent inside the soil. Uh, the static analysis of this experiment uh, completely randomized in design for three years with five replicates and multiple, multiple tests was used for difference of means. As you said, our objective, the first objective, we want to see if they are going to improve the growth of the plant. So we recorded the plant height, number of leaves, number of branches, and the flower per plant, in addition to fresh root and dry shoot weight per gram. Here is the result of the first, um, our first objective. We can see that here, uh, plant height and number of branches were morally affected by the, the addition of the single application of the fungi, trichoderma viridi and trichoderma harsianum. And, um, and when we applied the compound application of bacillus 16, um, sorry, uh, which is uh, bacterial isolate B16 and trichoderma viridi, it increases the number of leaves and uh, the number of flowers, meaning that it increases the, uh, the productivity of the plant. Whenever there's a, an, an increase in the flowering, it means that our productivity in, uh, uh, in the future will be increased. Here we have the fresh root weight and dry shoot weight, and we can see that um, also the compound application. About, uh, between Basalt B16 and Tragden Harsianum increase the fresh root of the plant and the dry shoot. When, we, when the fresh root are um, increased, mean that it prevents the entry. We said that we have a nematode, one of the pathogens, that causes the disease. When we say that the fresh weight increased, we have an increase in fresh weight, that means that it prevents the entrance of these nematodes and the roots are healthy and they are increasing their weight. We have increase in weight and also and the, the increase in the dry shoot weight. Um, one of the also the, the second objection um, um, or objectives was disease assessment. How can this pathogen increase it decrease the incidence and severity of the disease? So we recorded first of all the incidence of foliar of the foliar symptoms. Disease or not disease of the plant, we recorded. This is one of the disease and this one is not disease. And we recorded also the severity. It is a scale from zero to four. We can see this is a plant chosen according to their severity from zero to four. It's called as a fusarium wills, fusarium wills scale. And from this, from the incidence of severity, we uh, obtained was what is called disease intensity in the how much the disease is intense inside these plants. And for recording the, 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 the infection uh, um, uh, caused by the nematode, 
we record what's called a uh, root uh, necrosis scale, and it's a scale from zero to 10. We observe the plant and we, we record the amount of, of the percentage of infection. And also the amount of nematode inside the soil after the experiment has done. We take the soil and we count the amount of nematode in 100 grams of soil and in one gram of root. Finally, from the number of nematode in the soil, we uh, obtain what is called reproductive index, how this nematode reproduct, have these bioagents that we apply it decrease the amount of reproduction of nematode or not. This is the results. We can see that the compound application also increase the number of nematode, decrease the number of nematode compared to the infected plant, 100% it was countable, uncountable I mean. Whereas um, the compound application gave us a good result in decreasing the amount of uh, nematode inside the so in, in the soil. When, when recording in, uh, in the roots, we take one gram of root, we can see that all the treatments significantly not different, but the B3, the Arcadia Hassianum, give a, a, a good result. That means uh, at the beginning they try to enter the root, but the effect of the bioagents prevent them finally and gave us a good result that co control it from entering the root. Um, severity of root necrosis. As we said, it's um, a scale from zero to 10. B3, Targur Hassianum, give us three, just three from 10. It, that means that have a good result in decreasing the amount of necrosis inside the roots. Necrosis means that it has a, um, a scales in a, it um, penetrates or wounds the, the, the root. And a disease intensity, DII is a disease intensity index. It's a scale from zero to four. The infected plant gave us three, near to four. But B3, Targon Hassianum, give us 0.4. All, the, all of them, even not reaching one. And the, the reproductive index, the amount of reproductive of the nematode, were also decreased to, two, to 22. 0.09 and was all, all of them, we can say that this application was very good in, in controlling the entrance of the nematode, which is the, the fairest uh, pathogen that entered the root and felicitates the entrance of uh, the, the, the fungi, other fungi. Here is the disease intensity index. We mean that um, here is the progress of the disease. From the day, the first, um, the, the, set, the second week of application, until the, the last day of the experiment, we can see um, the, the the red column is uh, the red line is uh, the the infection, the control infected soil. Nothing having we haven't applied anything to it. We can see that it's um, it's a very high, as we say, nearly to reach four. But all the applications decrease the amount of progress during all the experiment days, and especially day 19, which is known to be the flowering date. When we control the flowering date of the plant, it means that we have a productivity, good productivity, uh, in forward. Conclusion, good can this bioagents, um, which is uh, Trichoderma species, Trichoderma hassianum, and the bacillus, the two bacillus isolates, are good candidates at biomicrobial pesticides due to the different mode of actions they employ. They have the ability to, to, uh, to produce, as we said, phytohormones, vitamins, cellulose min minerals, and direct inhibition pathogen growth. Combined uh, bioagents are more effective than the single ones. The, the compound one was uh, give us results more effective than the single one in controlling this disease. They affect plant productivity and also the health positively. Could be developed in a viable crop management program. Can be, we, our aim to let the farmers know these bioagents so that we can uh, let them uh, introduce them in their farming system rather than uh, using pesticides. 
uh, when we specify our target, when we know when we are, how are going to apply these agents, and when and where are we going to apply them. It's so important to know uh, the stage of the plant that I'm going to apply this agent, um, the, not, the kind of the soil that I'm going to apply uh, the agents to, and also uh, the, the degree of uh, in, the incidence of the degree of infection of the plant. Uh, recommendations for a sustainable agriculture, we need to focus on safety and green behavior approach by biomicrobial pesticides, to incorporate the indigenous bioagents in a sustainable farming system to reduce the need for synthetic pesticides. I haven't mentioned that they are indigenous, meaning that I have isolated them from our soil, from Sudan. When I isolate from a soil that the, um, the pathogens that affect the plant, uh, they are from the same niche. They can compete for each other. But what I uh, introduce from other, uh, the environment will be changed for them. If I introduce a bioagent from other country, the, the, they may give me, give me um, uh, fluctuable uh, results. Further studies are needed in the method of cyanuric application. Biomicrobial society formulation is a com in a combined form is a must. We can, uh, according to the results, we should use them as a combined because it gave us a good result. Thank you for your attention and guidance. through the document and I wondered uh, if you have tied it with the economic effect on the country. Um, you know, um, it, it's yeah. very important to actually uh, tie it and give that angle that how important it is and why are you concentrating on chickpeas and why is it important for sustainable farming and effect of economy in general for Sudan? Chickpea in North Sudan, all the farmers I have contact with, in direct contact with the farmers in this area. They, they used to, they, it's a catch crop in this area. They used to grow it as, uh, in their farms, but unfortunately they, 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 they lose their farms. They, uh, um, the, the disease um, let them go to other, other, uh, other uh, crops um, because they used to grow it and buy it in the market. So they contact me, how, how, how can we um, uh, control this disease? They, first of all, they don't know which disease is this. And we um, isolated and we made a, 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 a assay for all the kind of um, flora. And we want to know which kind of, which is which, which, which causes this disease, which causes this dropness in the productivity of the, um, the, the check bee. So, <laughs> do more research on that. If I had any personal funding, I would do that. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> you mentioned it now I remember the fo uh, Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations in 2000 I think 2000 they they have a big project running in Sudan in, uh, in uh, Agricultural Research Corporation led by Professor Asim uh, Ala Abdurrahman yes. he was voted the best scientist in Africa yes. that was the UN and it's all on, on biological uh, so this is can just tell you in developing countries you can get that was the best uh, that approach she was using uh, biological. Uh, means, yes. So imagine this is 14 years ago. If they have adopted what he has done 14 years ago. So I think else. this can tell you what there is lots of good research done in the developing countries, but the difficulty of getting that's why we try to do was to bring all this out and uh, I hopefully we can tell succeed. This is your presentation if you could have emphasized the food value in chickpeas would go a long way. And uh, please um, submit this to African Development Bank for research uh, funding. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
there are certain angles that if you, if you highlight them, you yes. will get a lot of funding. Yes. Okay. So you concentrated on the scientific part. Yes. But we know the value, and that's why we're attracting your attention. If you, you want to get funding, you need the other people who are not scientists. They need to look at the other um, human value, economic value, uh, social value, all the other factors that help nations. And if you highlight those aspects, you'll definitely get funding.